Hi again, this is Professor Monty, and I'm going to talk about finding the absolute extrema or maximum or minimum values on an open interval from A to B. Now, this method only works if we only have a single critical value in that interval. Otherwise, I have to take limits as the function goes towards, towards each endpoint. But in this case, finding the critical values, like we always do, take the derivative, set it equal to zero. So f prime of x. 3x squared plus 6x minus 24, set it equal to zero. We can factor this out. I'm going to factor a 3 to make my factoring a lot easier. So this factors into x plus 4x minus 2. And then remember, I set each of these factors equal to zero. 3, of course, doesn't equal zero. There's no x. 3 can't equal zero x plus 4 equals 0 when x equals negative 4. And x equals, x minus 2 equals 0 when x equals 2. Well, negative 4 is not in my interval, so I throw it away. Okay, that's not in my interval 0 to infinity. And that's all I care about. What's the absolute extrema in that interval? Well, 2 is the only critical value in there. And so what I need to do is just find out if it's a max or min. I can use the first derivative test, looking left and right into the first derivative, see if it's increasing, then decreasing, and decreasing, increasing, to see if it's a max or a min. I'm going to use the second derivative test. Since this is polynomial, second derivative just gets simpler. So I'm just going to get 6x plus 6. And what I'm doing is I'm plugging that critical value in there for x. And if I do f double prime of 2, Notice 6 times 2 is 12, plus 6 is 18. I just care about the sign. It's positive. Well, if the second derivative is positive, remember that means the graph's concave up. Well, if it's concave up, it has to be a minimum. So I have a minimum at x equals 2. And to find that y value, I just plug it into the original function. So let's do this. We'll erase some of this. So the y value is f of 2. So let's say I get 2 cubed plus 3 times 2 squared minus 24 times 2 plus 40. We'll just do this real quick. 8 plus 12 minus 48 plus 40. Well, this is 20 and 40, 60 minus 48, so it's 12. So I get y equals 12. So my absolute minimum in that interval is f of 2, which is the value 12. So the minimum is 12. It happens at x equals 2. And there's no absolute max. And if we think about what this graph looks like, it's a positive x cubed. We know the graph looks like this. Well, the absolute min was right here at 212. And there's no absolute max because it goes up forever. So that's why we didn't have an absolute max in that interval. And so that's our problem. So it's pretty easy to do to find the absolute max or min. Find the critical values. There can only be one critical value in the open interval we give you. And then use either the first or second derivative test to determine if it's a max or a min. There's only going to be either an absolute max or an absolute min, not both unless we take, as I mentioned, the limits as x goes towards each of the limits. All right, so best of luck to you. Work on this practice, you'll get it. It just takes practice like any other thing in math. So again, if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please click there to subscribe to my channel. Like this video if you liked it. Um, and other than that, just come back later. We'll do some more problems. All right, good luck to you.